Do you accept that you're possibly alienating people who, in a general sense, would support your background cause? No, I would say I don't think any of us want to be disrupting people's lives, but I think given the science and the acad things that academics are saying, about what oil is causing around the world and in this country too, this is the level of action that needs to be taken when our government is failing on their energy policies and their climate pledges. But you... This Just Stop Oil slogan is very playgrounders, isn't it? It's very Vicky Pollard, it's quite childish. Just stop oil. I mean, come on, there's more to say than that, isn't there? I would say that the answers are actually very simple. We need to stop new oil licensing, and that's all we're asking. You know, with the oil reserves that we have now and the oil fields that we have that are still going, that would provide us with eight years of oil if we said no to new oil, and that's all we're asking for. But We've how seen... do the blockades advance that argument? They, do, they don't, do they? They simply... Your protests are, by definition, massively imperfect. I mean, the clothes that you're wearing, to some extent, owe their existence to oil because they were taken in a car or a truck or a van to a shop, you know? There are, there are so many ways that oil Im impacts on your life uh, as, a, as a protester, but you don't acknowledge that. We're talking about crop failure by 2030. We're talking about people in this country right now in fuel poverty because of the prices of oil. I'm and you're talking no, no, about no, no, the no, no, clothes no, that no, I'm wearing. No, listen, but this to, is to so fair, serious. Now, if we want to talk about hypocrisy, look at the government that has pledged for net zero Still by 20... The but they've pledged for net zero by 2050, and now they're looking at opening 42 new oil what fields, about the which will be releasing fossil fuels what into the 2050s. That is a death sentence for my generation and for your children. Would you I just... Uh, how can we be talking about about individual scale when we're asking the government to change so we as individuals no longer have Do to be reliant. There are levels of the and for those who are planning to get away over the Easter holidays, could they expect more disruption? I think the main message is that the government can stop this. I think people will continue to disrupt and cause action because they are desperate here. The government could right. stop this if they commit to no new oil 